fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. This is a story of one of the most mysterious characters to appear in the early days of the West. He was a fabulous individual, a man whose presence brought fear to the lawless and hope to those who wanted to make this frontier land their home. He was known as the Lone Ranger. Indians on the warpath, red man versus white, burnings, scalpings, atrocities, massacres. These scenes of bloodshed and death finally have vanished from the West at the time our story opens. For the great white father in Washington has acted in the Indians' behalf. The pipe of peace has been smoked and solemn treaties made which guarantee forever the rights and property of the red man. He has been given large grants of land on which to live. Regular shipments of supplies to provide for his needs are sent him on rigid schedules from the east. And law and order in his territory is being maintained by the presence of United States troops. For a long period, the Indians live contentedly and in harmony with the white man. Then one day, a smoke signal appears in the sky. A signal which for many centuries has been the Indians' telegraph. His means of transmitting a message across the miles. On this particular day, the message from afar was of importance to Tonto, friend and faithful companion of the Lone Ranger. Two quick puffs. That's your sign, Tonto. Come from Cheyenne country. Must be from Chief Swift Eagle. Chief Swift Eagle, good friend. See what him want. Orzo, he's a canyon. Look so. He says that it's important to see you right away, but he doesn't say why. Ah, Chief Swift Eagle have plenty good reason or him not send for Tonto. Me signal, me go. Ojo, he say gagnon, hook saw. We find him on Washita Reservation. Then you'd better be on your way. You not come, Kimasabi? No, Tano, I want to visit Father Batista at his mission. He may have some news for me. When me see you again? I'll meet you at the big cave on the Washita River in two days. You go on. I'll break up camp. Me hurry. See what friend want. Tano. Yes, Kimasabi? They're strict around the reservations these days. Be sure to report to the Indian agent in charge there. Me see him first thing. Father. Welcome, my son. It's been a long time since you last passed this way. Yes, it has. Thank you. Where's Tonto? Oh, he went to see his friend, Chief Swift Eagle, on the Washita Reservation. The Washita? Why, yes. Something wrong, Father? I hope he doesn't meet with trouble. Trouble? What kind of trouble? The Army has issued orders that any Indians found off their reservations south of the Cimarron River are to be arrested as renegades. Renegades? Yes and they're to be exiled to the Florida Everglades. Why, those disease-infested swamps would kill a northern Indian in less than a week. I know. Why, Father? What's the reason behind it all? Oh, Inspector. Here's someone who can tell you about it. Good morning, Father. This is Inspector Williams from the Department of Indian Affairs. Uh, what, uh... <laughs> Don't let the mask cause you any concern, Inspector. This is the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger. Say, I've heard a lot about you. Glad to meet you, Inspector. Father Batista has told me about the order exiling Indians from their homes. Oh? Well, that order was issued to protect the food and supplies we send to the Indians. Uh, what do you mean? Our supply trains haven't been getting through. They've been attacked? That's right. Renegade Indians. They slaughter the drivers and take the supplies. You're positive it's done by Indians? That's the report from one of our own agents, Jim Lackey. Yes, he should know. But to call any Indian found off the reservation a renegade. Oh, that was the Army's idea, not ours. I see. Now you see why I was concerned about Tonto. I'll see to it that nothing happens to Tonto. 
I'll start for the Washita right away. Do you mind if I ride along with you? I'm on a tour of inspection. That's where I'm going. Glad to have you, Inspector. Bye, Father. Adios, Father. And many thanks for your hospitality. You were most welcome. Thank you. Good luck, my friends. Adios. Bond's over. Where have you been, Bolin? I've been sitting on fish hooks all day waiting for you. What's eating you, Larky? Did you and your cutthroats raid that supply train that's coming in? No. Didn't know there was one. Oh, that's a relief. Something wrong, Larky? You bet there is. We've got to lay off for a while. The Indian Bureau is bellering its head off. You think they're getting wise? No. They still think it's renegade Indians. Well, then, <laughs> what do we got to worry about? This letter from Washington. Just one more raid, and there's going to be a special investigation. That wouldn't be so good. If anyone came snooping around here, they might find out that me and my boys are deserters. What do you mean, might? Now, we've got to take it easy and let some of those supplies get through. At least until things cool off a little. Hold it. What's your business, Indian? Me come to Washita, see Chief Swift Eagle. What do you want with Swift Eagle? Him old friend, make power. You got your own rations? Me got food. It's a good thing. Grub is too scarce around here these days to be feeding stray Indians. You have plenty food soon. Pass supply train on way here. Glad to hear it. That ought to be good news for Swift Eagle and his outfit. What do you call yourself? Me Tonto, not Cheyenne. Come from north. All right, you can go now. You'll find Swift Eagle camp four miles up the line. Wait a minute, Injun. What did you say your name was? Me, Tonto. That's all. There's something mighty familiar about that engine. Yeah, all Indians look alike. Maybe. But I've seen him before. See you later. For many moons now, my people hungry. Many of them weak and sick. Must have food, white man's medicine to make them well again. That's why me send for you, Tonto, in hope you and your good friend, the Lone Ranger, will help. Kimasabi helps with Eagle's people. Him good friend. But you say you not see him till tomorrow. That right. Maybe too late then. Supply train now, one day's ride away. Will be in Blue Canyon by next sunrise. That were every attack made. Mm, that not good. Swift Eagle ask Indian agent Lackey protect supplies, but they no get here. No time come for Swift Eagle to act. Escort supply train with best warriors. Mm, that bad, Swift Eagle. Indian agent make big trouble if you go off reservation. Him not know what we do till wagon arrive safe. Maybe men with wagons think you renegades start battle. Swift Eagle think of that. But also think of my people who starve and die. We watch wagon from hills. Show ourselves only if attack made. You come, Tonto? Tonto to ride with good friends, Swift Eagle. Oh, he come. There's the spot I was to meet Tonto. It seems that someone else got there first. Looks like an army patrol. Yes. Could be a detachment from Fort Mason looking for renegades. Hope they don't take your friend Tonto for a renegade, if they meet up with him. Tonto will be careful. I wasn't to meet him until tomorrow. Meanwhile, Inspector, we'll camp up the line. The soldiers may be gone by morning. Then I'll come back and meet Tonto. On, Silver. Lackey, 
What's up? That engine. I just figured out who he is. I saw him in Fort Dodge about a year ago. Well? He's the engine that rides with the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? Are you sure? Positive. We can't have him snooping around here. He might bring in his masked friend. Yeah. That masked man might be here even now. Well, what do we do? We're going to have a talk with that Indian. Come on. That night, Bolin and Lackey, after failing to find Tonto or Chief Swift Eagle, cruelly forced the Chief's terrified squaw to give them the information they demand. I think this is about the best break we ever got. What do you mean, break? The Brass and Washington think the Indians have been staging these raids, don't they? Now we prove it. How? You heard her say they rode off to guard the supply train, not attack it. My orders say that all Indians found off the reservation are renegades. Well, Swift Eagle and all his braves are off the reservation right now. Oh, I never thought of that. Now, Swift Eagle still thinks that your men are army regulars. It'll be a cinch to arrest them. Yeah. And you follow the War Department's order and send them to the Everglades. But they'll never reach Florida. Your men will shoot them when they try to escape. All nice and legal. I get it. Then Washington has nothing to investigate. Right. We better round up the boys at the cave. They got work to do. What about her? Oh, uh, she can't do anything. Come on. The next morning, the Lone Ranger, after leaving Inspector Williams to ride on to the Washita Reservation alone, returns to the cave, where he has arranged to meet his faithful Indian companion, Tonto. The cave is deserted of soldiers. Yet the masked man sees no sign of his Indian friend. Easy, big fellow. Easy. What are you going to do? Keep you quiet and out of the way for a while. Move. There, that should hold you. I have to find Inspector Williams. I'm sure. Get those engines off their horses, Pete. surrendered without firing a shot. You thought the army had turned on them, huh? What did you do with them? I had my men take them to the cave. They'll be safe there until we get rid of them. What did you bring Swift Eagle here for? You've forgotten about the Lone Ranger? One of my men heard the chief talk about him. I figured between the two of them, we'd find out where the masked man is. Yeah, boss. They make big mistake. We not ride to attack supply train. That's right, Mr. Lackey. We guard train so food will come. Guard it? You mean attack it? You know the army order. Indians found off their reservation are to be considered renegades and deported to the Florida Everglades. Well, engine, you think your pal, a lone ranger, can help you now? He must have a good man. Him find out truth. Where's the Lone Ranger now? Why you want to know? That's our business. Well, speak up. Oh, another stubborn engine. Maybe this will loosen your tongue. You 
going to talk now? Uh, you, you keep out of this. You think you can beat it out of him? If I can't, I'll go to work on Swift Eagle. Hold it, Dolan. There's someone coming up the road. Now, we'll find out what he wants, but you and Pete keep your guns handy in case we have to get out of here quick. What about them? Oh, we're just attending to official business. Questioning a couple of captured renegades. Hello. Where is the... What are you doing to these Indians? Where's the agent in charge? That's me. Inspector Williams, Bureau of Indian Affairs. Now, what's the meaning of this? Well, we caught these Indians stalking a wagon train. These men wrong, Inspector. Cheyenne, honest Indians. Shut up. This is an army matter, mister. On the contrary, it's a matter for the Bureau, no? I... And you're not using that whip anymore. I demand a full explanation. Well, now, just a minute, Inspector. It's like this, you see. We, uh... I... That'll keep him quiet for a while. What did you do that for? Now we'll have to get out of here fast. We'll take what we've made and call it quits. You're not getting afraid, are you? We can take care of the inspector and the engines. Well, I still don't like it. Not with the Lone Ranger around. I'm getting out. Well, anyway, it sure paid off while it lasted. Too bad we had to cut it short like this. I... You know, Lanky, I've just been thinking. Washington don't know nothing about me and Pete here. And with the two engines, the inspector, and you out of the way? You wouldn't. Why not? What do you say to a two-way split, Pete? Sounds good, boss. There's your answer, Lanky. Snivering coward, either. Say, hey, what about the men at the cave? Well, why worry about them? After all, who can trust army deserters with money? Get outside and get the horses. I got a little unfinished business in here. Right, boss. Taking care of you two engines is going to give me extra special pleasure. Hurry up in there! Be right with you, Pete. Now, Tonto, start saying your prayers to your totem. On your feet. You're under arrest. Sergeant, watch him. You too. We've been looking for you and Bowen for a long time. Come along. Sergeant, take charge of these deserters. Now, stranger, who are you? A man who just saved our lives. Inspector Williams. Hello, Flynn. You got here just in time. This is Lieutenant Murray. Inspector. Lieutenant? His company from Fort Mason was out looking for deserters when they met our supply train. We uh, heard some shots as we were bringing Flynn's wagon up the trail. Sounded like trouble, so we came on ahead. Is Bowen one of the men you're looking for? He certainly is. We've been looking for him and his friends for over a year. Hear him say rest of men in cave near Washita. They renegades. They raid supply train, not Indians. 
That's right. I found some of the supplies stolen from the wagon train still in the cave. Ball and kill Indian agent. Him body inside. What? Him speak truth, Lieutenant. Indian agent plan raids. But Boland shoot him when they go to split up money. I'm beginning to understand a few things now, Lieutenant. Our agent, Lackey, wanted us to believe that renegade Indians were raiding the supply trains, while he and Boland and his men were the real renegades. Say, you got here just in time. I was on my way to find you, Inspector. I heard some gunshots. I knew something was wrong. Kimasabi, many Swift Eagles Braves held prisoner in cave now. Boland have his men take them to cave after they capture us. So, some more of Boland's deserted friends are around here. Well, my troop will take care of them in a hurry. Then you won't need us anymore, Lieutenant. We're certainly indebted to you and your Indian friend here. Chief Swift Eagle, you can tell your people from now on that their supplies will be sure of getting through. You have my word on that, Swift Eagle. Swift Eagle and his people never forget this day. Are their friend Tonto or Tonto's good friend? Juan Tonto. Who'd you say that masked man was? Well, he's the Lone Ranger. Well, what do you know? The Lone Ranger. Hello, Hill, Hill. 